Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Taylor Parnell. I'm from San Diego, California, now living in Israel the last five years, and I have two incredible horses. One black horse, he is 15 Hanoverian, his name is Prince, and one white horse, his name is Edward, he is 16 and he is an Arabian. And I really wanted to get here on you with you guys because they are each black and white. And I think having a black horse and a white horse, you definitely need to get those tips for how to keep your horses cool in summertime. So I found that this is my first full summer with both of my horses. And I think that if I need these tips, I'm sure many of you out there need them as well. So I just wanted to show you guys how I keep my horses cool in the summer, how I treat them and what I do, especially as their caretaker, I can figure out exactly what they need and when they need it. So these are my tips for you guys. The first thing is fly protection. This is super, super important. If you know anything, the flies come to the barn and they nag the horses so much. So I definitely do fly protection as far as my fly spray. This is the one I love to use. It's a concentrated version so you can get more bang for your buck. And of course it works pretty well, but no fly spray is 100% preventative. So I also do fly masks. These are the fly masks that I use. It's from Harrison. Um, I will definitely link everything down below and I am considering next year using fly blankets Drop in the comments what you guys think because I definitely think this is something that can be good and bad depending on if it's comfortable for the horse and Of course, I forgot to tell you guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up Make sure you're subscribed to the channel down below and turn on those bell notifications because you have a chance at my post notification shout out and giveaway and of course we appreciate your support so much So any engagement you do in the comments and share this video with others, it will mean so much to us So first fly protection that I went through Second is protection from the sun. So making sure that your horse has shade I think is super important and it's year like all the day, not year round, but all the day, like the entire day, how the sun changes throughout the day to make sure your horse has shade the entire day so that they can learn to cool off. And of course, if they don't have shade, it's something that also with their skin, as far as a white horse and a black horse goes, their skin and coat does not benefit from that experience. So I think shade, of course, um, the next one is staying cool, so airflow. Um, is super super important we get a great airflow here and that's something that again you know making sure that you can understand throughout the day what the temperature is like and what the wind is like and you know it's something that it's changing throughout the day especially in the summertime you never know so definitely be pay attention to that and I love getting giving my horse horse popsicles which I'm going to show you guys here how to make that I just add some fruits put them in water put them in the freezer and then what's really fun is I give them to them after which they really enjoy that cool uh you know refreshing experience of course what's also super important is having clean cool fresh water for them I have um water that it's constantly flowing so what's again important is that it's always cool it's always clean I make sure their bowls are clean and of course salt licks are so important that getting those extra you know My minerals will help keep them their electrolytes you know going and of course help them stay hydrated because the salts and the minerals will encourage them to drink more water and that is super super important riding in early morning or evening that's super super important as well making sure it's not direct sun because again i have a white horse and a black horse and that summer sun is not helping them at all also make sure to muck out like i make sure to muck out twice a day because then the flies are less attracted in the stall and one thing i did mention is i have these little fly baskets that work pretty well to attract the flies over there so again trying to do something for those flies is super super important and last but not least is the 24 7 um, feed hay nets i make sure that they always have hay because one i think that also encourages them to drink but doing the hay nets as well is super important because i've heard a few crazy stories as far as if you put the hay on the floor or in a big pile snakes sometimes hide in there and i think that's something that it can be super scary you don't want any of your horses to experience that or get bit by a snake because Again, I've heard even a story of one of my friends, their horse was eating in their pile of hay and 
they got bit in the face and their face got super swollen. Thank God, luckily, they were able to treat the horse. But that's just something that, again, I think is so, so important to be able to treat and to give them that extra love and care that they need during the summertime. Because, again, usually they would have so many miles to wander and to be free and to find the shade and the water and those things. So there's benefits to us being able to be here for them. But at the same time, we have to make sure that they get all the care that they need. So, again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video so of course as always my little cutie thank you for tuning in for today's video we hope you guys love those tips for a white and a black horse to stay cool in the summertime and of course we appreciate your guys' support so much so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to the channel down below make sure you turn on all those post notifications so you don't miss a chance at my shout out and giveaway and of course we appreciate it so much if you comment down below what tip maybe stuck out to you or something that you want to see next on this channel because we always love to do farm life and lifestyle hacks so we're here to help you guys and we can't wait to see you on the next video bye everybody